We got a little bit of breaking news coming at you in terms of the Wagon Gambit because I just played a Wagon Gambit in a Blitz game. You're about to see that in a second, but maybe more importantly and more shockingly, somebody actually played the Wagon Gambit in the British Championship today. So what you're gonna see in this video is first, me playing a Wagon Gambit, talking about this game a little bit, and then my analysis of this game. So it's a jam-packed Wagon Gambit video. I hope you do enjoy it. And if you really do appreciate these kinds of uh, games and analyses, please feel free to subscribe to the channel it would help me out a lot uh, we've been getting a lot of new viewers lately it would help if we also turn those into a lot of new subscribers thank you guys so much enjoy this game enjoy the analysis and big shout out to thomas valeris for playing the wagon gambit in the british championship see you guys later hey everybody and welcome back to another five minute game of chess i know i'm a little bit late getting today's video out but i haven't had too much time forgive me apologies i'll make it up with a wagon gambit, perhaps, and I don't know if you heard the news, but earlier today in the uh, British Championship, we saw this gambit being played. It was a 2100 versus 2300, and uh, it was a wild game when I left it. I'm not exactly sure. It wasn't looking good for the player that played black, but this was the move, and this happened today in the British Championship. It was this. It was E3. Not a very good move, but opponents who are very afraid of... Uh, this gambit? They might come up with this. And then I remember he went here. I was wondering why c6 was never played, because there's some knight b5. But it went almost exactly like this, and castles, and some eventual c6, and uh, some eventual bishop here. So let's just play all the moves. I'm playing like somebody trying to be British champion. So if that was you, and you played it, you know what? Shout out to you. I guess you are a viewer. There's no way you play this in a monster tournament, and you don't know who I am. I think it's, I think it's impossible. So, thank you for doing it. My apologies if it didn't go well. Results are, re results may vary. But I remember this was the position, something like this. It wasn't this, it was something that I'll, I'll need to look up after. But something similar enough to this. Uh, now what I need to do in this position, this structure is to go here. Um, I guess we'll go here to prevent the opponent from being able to castle. And we just need to come up with a good way of uh, doing some sort of attack here. I need to open the F-file. I'm gonna go here and here. And if at some point, G4. Well, at this point, we'll, we'll work it out when we get there. So maybe I can play queen here. If the king comes here, maybe here. I'm threatening to sacrifice pretty strongly. Um, so I will play here. If they kick me away, I guess I'm just gonna go back and argue that that's fine. Uh, here actually makes a lot of sense. I respect it. I respect the move. Let's still go back and we'll play here, which I think is also very useful for me. Um, and then at some point, we'll try to get oops all of these knights into the game and see if we can run the opponent over on the king side. But, uh, but yeah, it was just cool to see. It was cool to see the wagon in a really important tournament. And probably if it had gone a little better, I'll have to check it after this game. If it had gone a little better, maybe there'd be a Schrantz video about it. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. If you sneak in, you should get trapped. I go here and here, and this traps the queen. So I'm defending this square. My knight's defending here, pawn's defending here. And I got all these other squares internally covered. And now the queen gets trapped. It looks like you can get two minor pieces for it. But that's as far as it goes. So, I have won a queen. It looks pretty difficult to defend this pawn. So let's target the G pawn. I'll take this on my next turn. Could probably have taken it, you know, straight away, but let's wait a turn, take here with check. And we got a grooving position. Should be able to convert this one. Let's see if we have the technique today. Some days you got the technique, you know, some days you don't, but uh, we'll see if we can pull this one off. Just need to develop, perhaps challenge the H file, avoid, I don't know what kind of colossal mistake could be made, but we got to avoid it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it safe. Wait, that doesn't even help enough. Wait, this is not how I wanted to do it. But I'm defending this because white has here, white also had this. So I do have to be careful. Maybe I didn't need to take the G-pawn right away. But now if he goes here, at least I can 
move my queen away. I think a knight on f8 would be a, a particularly wonderful thing. And I hope my queen doesn't get trapped. It looks like the opponent might be trying to, uh, to somehow trap me. Okay, I can go here. He wants to take that, which is, you know, in my mind, completely understandable. So now if here, if he takes my knight, I have to take with my king, essentially. So I move my rook up so that if I get checked, I can escape easily. And I'm maintaining control of this. And at least for now, this is defended. So you can do this and then here, oops, and then here. But uh, after here, I should be fine. So I just, I have to stay alert, which is, you know, it's not so easy. Every day is, has been quite a big day, but I have to stay alert here. I don't suppose there's some, uh, some evil devilish trap. But uh, you never know, let's give a check. And then sneak in. Uh, just gotta calculate all of the, the captures here. Cause if he takes my knight first, it's gonna be fine. Okay. Cause if he takes my knight, I can take with my rook so that my king remains the defender of this piece. If he takes directly, I can go here. So it's possible for him to take and then take, but I think I should be good. Meanwhile, I make another threat and maybe presently I'll be able to push this knight away. I have something good. So I can take with my knight. I can also give a check. Let's start with this. Mm -hmm. And then let's take this back. And we are, we're doing a good job here. The rook can come here. Rook is actually kind of annoying. If he comes here though, I can start to weasel my queen out of all the attacks. So far, so good. Okay. Um, okay. Let's get this knight in here. So now you can't even attack my queen because my knight will come in right away. Somehow I can, I can target some of these other things, I'll be doing good. I also can go here, provoke before, and then go here as a possible option. Also, I can go here now. He has this square. So it's kind of a, hmm. I'm actually gonna go all the way over just to make sure you can't push this pawn so easily. I don't want it, you got your, your outside passer. I don't want it to be easy for you. Uh. I don't know about this one. So he's gonna come in. Okay, let's keep the king honest. And uh, let's bring our knight into the game. Looks like all the action is over here. The opponent is relying on pushing this pawn, so let's get everything over there as quickly as possible. And let's also try not to, uh, to blunder a rook. It'd be really cool not to blunder a rook. And let's take here. and win a lot of material, because <laughs> now he gave the check first. I'm attacking the rook. Uh, opponent offers a draw. I'm gonna decline this one. I'm gonna attempt to win this game. If you take back this way, I think I just simply take back, and then I'm threatening this mate, which looks hard to avoid without giving up your rook. So, it's a desperate strategy by the opponents, but maybe this has worked for them in the past. The offer, the draw, <laughs> maybe I hit the wrong button. I don't know. But anyway, it was an interesting game. I, I want to cover it, but then I have a special surprise. I want to show you the game from today because it was something like this. And when you play the Wagon Gambit, it's actually like, it's something that really, really, really should be accepted. And I've done a million videos on this. So subscribe to the channel and go back and watch all of the videos for more information on the Wagon. But it was declined. And the reason that I played this way today is because in the British Chess Championship earlier today, there was a game between Thomas Villers and Trishna 
uh, Kaya Mariela. And I saw this at some point and it looked like White was just incredibly winning, but as it turns out, this game was a draw. So instead of analyzing my game, let me show you this remarkable game. Here's like a little special bonus, engine enabled edition. We're just kind of doing the, the analysis here kind of raw. But this was played in the British Championship, a very elite tournament. And we saw a wagon gambit with pawn to e5. And check out how wild this got. So instead of playing the winning move and accepting the gambit, we saw pawn to e3. This was played earlier today. And then after here, we saw basically this same thing. The pawn went here. This all looks very, very familiar. Like this is incredibly familiar. h3, no, this is like basically exactly what happened in my game for quite a bit of it. But then somehow black has managed to get an advantage out of this opening. It feels like all you need to do is somehow castle or go for some sort of kingside attack. H5 is correct. So far, this is just incredibly good for black. Queen came in, making some potential threats of this knight, I don't know, somehow drifts too far away, but it looks like black is just simply trying to break in. White takes the time to now try to open up the center. Computer says this is about equal at this point. Takes, takes, uh, G5, which you gotta respect the effort. G5 turns out to be one of the, uh, the mistakes here that was played in this game. You gotta love it, but after this sacrifice, uh, white is not compelled to take and let black get some sort of strong attack. They play queen b3, which actually does a very good job um, sheltering along this diagonal. And it's possible that um, black got to this point and maybe in their head had some idea that maybe they could take this and swoop in. But the queen is actually defending this square. So knight to c5 was played. It was a really wild game. The knight was taken. Then the other knight was taken. And then this rook made a mistake. So I left the game around here and I'm like, oh man, white's gonna win this game. But apparently white made a big blunder. Rook came into f6. There's still no ability to give this check because the queen is such a good defender. But then another blunder was made. And then the bishop comes to shield. What the heck is going on? But now if you take with a pawn or a rook, somehow there's not pressure along the G file. Black gets castled, even though they're completely exposed over here. This check is given, but this is actually a mistake. Even though this bishop drops off, Black can now trade, and they've gotten to an equal position. Holy cow, so a lot of fireworks in this one. A really cool game that I actually hope to deep dive into a little bit more, maybe in a future video, you never know. But if you want to see it, you better be a subscriber. And thank you to Thomas Villares. Huge shout out. Way to play the Wagon Gambit and draw a high-rated opponent. I'll see you guys later.